Hello everyone, Craig from Chasing back again, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Gladius Mini's remote control. Now this remote is very simple. Um, there's not a lot to it. It's very light, it's very easy to use, and it's very intuitive for the very first time user. So let's dive into some of the features of this remote control. On the front of the remote control, you obviously have your two joysticks, and these joysticks in the app, you can actually configure into your own dive patterns that you want. Now it comes with two defaults, which is American hand and Japanese hand, or you can make your own configuration, which is a really cool feature. In between the joysticks, you have your on off button. And then next to that, up here on the left hand side, this is your motor lock button. So when you put the drone into the water, you're gonna wanna hit this lock unlock button, and that's gonna allow you to dive and go on your adventure. When you come back out and you're about to take the drone out of the water, make sure you lock the motors because you don't want them to seize outside of the water. Next to that is your battery indication. This will tell you if you're at 25% or 100%. There are four dots and when all four dots are lit up green, that means you're fully charged and that charge is gonna last about five hours. To the right, we have our dive uh, function. So if you wanna be in stabilized mode and get those really smooth, clean shots, hit that button. And I suggest doing that in medium or slow speed. If you want to be level at a certain depth, say five feet, 50 feet, 100 feet, hit the depth hold button. And it'll show up on the screen and it'll indicate that you're in depth hold. And it will stay at that level, no problems at all. Next to that, that's your Bluetooth connection light. When it's blinking, that means you're not connected. Once it's solid, that means you're connected to your phone device. In the middle, you have your lanyard connection. And on the back side, we have a couple different button features here. The button on the right is for start, stop of video or taking pictures. So if I wanted to shoot a photo, all I'd have to do is hit this button. If I wanna start my video, all I have to do is hit this button, hit it again to stop. And on the other side is to switch between camera and video camera. Real simple process, made it really smooth and easy right at your fingertips. On right below the switching camera button is the light control. So if you want to turn the lights on, you're in a dark situation and you need some light, you're just gonna turn that to the right, keep turning it, you'll go to 100%. So you can change this between 100, 1% and 100%. Just depends on what you want. Right on the other side below the camera on off button is going to be your tilt mode. So if you wanna tilt up, you're going to turn to the right. If you wanna tilt down, you're gonna to turn to the left. And at any time that you're tilted and you wanna go back to level, all you're gonna do, press the button in, you will go straight to level. On the front of the remote control is where you're going to charge this. And like I said, a single one and a half hour charge, you're gonna get about five hours and that comes with its own charging USB port. So basically, this is a very simple, very easy to use remote control. And I think that everybody will enjoy it once they get their hands on it and really get a feel for it. So if you wanna subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna comment or you have more questions, leave a comment below and I'll get right back to you. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you again next time. Have a great day. Talk to you later.